sitting in the basement of the new Toronto Zone substation, a project that started a few years ago, and it is very unique in it. It's actually the one-off design and now construction that we've done that, that allows for potential mine subsidence in the future. It is not all connected, so it is actually designed to articulate in, during a mine subsidence event and recover, and also has jacking points along certain critical areas so that we can actually manually recover it to the um, base of where it was. We worked closely with um, our design group to look at recycling some equipment and some of that equipment was uh, 132 kV circuit breakers as such. Now, for us to do that, we took into consideration the cost to have those maintained and refurbished so that they were as new. And we also worked collaboratively with our design group to actually make those fit, because this substation was designed for a different style of breaker. We used some existing equipment that Osgrid had as system spares. Our power transformers, for example, one came from West Gosford and the other one came from Rothbury. So there was a massive saving there. The basis of our approach was, what do we do well, what do we do not so well, what can we improve on, what should we stop doing? We had a much smaller crew here. Instead of putting a lot of numbers on the job, we scaled it down and it seemed that it was more efficient to build a project that way. We're much more efficient with scheduling and what resources we bring to site and to make sure that the plant equipment is on site for the least amount of time as possible. The technology changes all the time. We're using technology now that we didn't use on the last substation and it protects our assets to a higher standard, hence the safety of the, the public and for Osgrid employees. There's a substantial design component there's a substantial civil construction component, there's a substantial electrical equipping component and essentially the um, energisation of them. Uh, and they are all done by different groups within Osgrid and it's key to their success that they all work collaboratively. Teamwork within a project I consider, uh, along with safety, to be the most important thing. Um, the environment I like to create is a happy place to work and I want the guys to get out of bed of a morning and want to come to site really. There's a sign on the, on the front gate saying, work safely today, my dad works here, and it's a picture of a young boy and girl. I think that's sort of the essence of the projects that I like to be part of. I want everyone to watch out for each other, and I know it's an old cliche, but everyone wants to go home, you know, uninjured and unharmed at the end of the day.